everyone, this is Venom Geek Media here, and today I'm going to do another painting guide sort of thing. Uh, this is for the Sand Snakes. Um, so, those of you who probably have, you know, seen Game of Thrones, read the books, and there are the three, uh, these are the three illegitimate daughters of Oberyn Martell, and they all partake in some aspects of him. The eldest, Obara, here, um, is the fighter. You have the uh, next eldest, Nymeria. It's Nymeria Tain. I get confused. They were pretty weak in the book, really. Um, so, yeah, then you have her, and she's, you know, basically inherited his libido. And then you have, uh, again, Tain. Nymeria. I'm pretty sure, I think that's Nymeria and that's Tyene. That's what they're sold as, anyway. Uh, and she is, you know, the potions master, the cunning one. Um, all of these I got from Dark Sword Miniatures. Um, I was very happy with them. Uh, and I got them as a three, because that's kind of how they operate. Um, and so just kind of talking about the miniatures in and of, of themselves. Um, I really like them. They all embody the main characteristics that they all partake in. Obara is clearly a fighter. Uh, Nymeria is quite, you know, quite uh, provocatively dressed, reflecting that same sort of element in Oberyn. Um, and Tyene, if that even is her, um, you know, is quite chasey dressed, but she's also got a hood. There's a level of sort of anonymity and mystery mystery about them. Um, so these are really nice models. I like each of them. They're very diverse, but they've got a similar styling. Um, so I'll talk about them in the order that I actually painted them. So first came Obara. She's kind of the easiest to paint because, you know, she's, well, armour, <laughs> you know. And so painting her was simply a a matter of, you know, working out where armour was. I decided on a sort of a snake pattern to her armour, because, you know, she's in Dawn, it's kind of a land of snakes. Uh, she is a sand snake after all, so I went with kind of a coral snake, you know, that sort of orange and black, um, sort of poisonous snake. So essentially, the way I did her armour was, I um, did each sort of band in a colour, so band in orange, band in black, band in orange, band in black. Um, sort of alternating, um, and then I just, um, what, what, what did I do then, I uh, gave it a dark wash uh, in brown, to look at, uh, both of the paints were in uh, gloss, to kind of give that shine, then I did the matte, to kind of, well not the matte, but the wash to kind of beat it a bit, to make it look a bit worn, and then I just dry brushed over with some um, metallic, I think, brass in the end, uh, and it was, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Uh, it was very good. The skin was a quite sort of bronze flesh tone, very sort of uh, tropical, very yeah, more equatorial, but not quite, not particularly dark. Um, and I gave it a very light, dark wash. Um, and then for the hair, it was pretty simple. Just, you know, it says wrap brown. So just the darkest brown I could find with some highlights. Um, so the skin, you know, was very simple. Uh, then the, the main thing then, I suppose, is the cloth work. Which is um, very... You know, it looks very warm, very beaten, and that's kind of, you know, intentional, because, you know, she uh, is a person of the desert, you know, uh, she comes from uh, a country which is very deserty, um, and so, yeah, so you can see it's quite sort of worn and beaten, I just, the way I did it was just layer after layer after layer, Dry brush after dry brush after dry brush after dry brush, wash after wash after wash. That's basically how I did it. Um, 
and you know it just eventually all worked its way in. So I was very pleased with Obara in the end. I thought she, I think she looks really good. Um, you know, fits her character very well. Next, I did Tyeen. Um, now she's a bit smaller. Obara is very big, but she's only a bit smaller. Um, I put a little more detail into the floor for her. As you can see, I made it more sort of um, Moroccan. Yeah, very sort of Moroccan looking. And her dress is, you know, quite simplistic. Um, it's orange in the very, in the, you know, in the sort of the recesses and yellow on on the edges. It's a very simple dress, but it reflects the colours of a snake. Again, very snake-like. Again, with the, uh, you have essentially, she then has a, um, she has a headscarf, and then a cloak I am particularly proud of, uh, because of the sort of the dry brushing. It's very simple, but it gives it a good look. It looks, you know, very nice very smooth everything on her looks very smooth and very clean um and so yeah and the skin tone was just you know kind of started out quite pale and you know add a bit of darkening but she's got quite a light skin tone uh then finally nymeria now she's an absolutely gorgeous model but my goodness was she a pain in the arse to paint why look she's very small she's very slim and you know nimble compared to her sisters um so this made it very difficult to paint her um yeah so um you know, what did I do? I, um, basically, essentially what I do is it's a very thin sort of silk dress, as you can see. You've got her skin tones showing through where her leg is pressing against the cloth of the dress. So essentially, start out with the dark, do the dark skin tone, and then just dry brush the dress over it. The dress itself also features a lot of, um recesses, a lot of areas for highlighting, so I made sure that it was quite high contrast um across the whole thing so and again it's a green it's sort of a snaky color i really like it um they're all very different but they're all clearly you know share something and they've all got very bold colors uh they're very strong in that sense and they have a very strong look um i'm very pleased with them so you know, that's about it uh, for this episode. You know, I will attach some photos, obviously, so you can see them in better detail. This camera doesn't really do great justice to them. And I will also, um, next one I do, I will do a sort of by the stages uh, tutorial. Uh, this is Venom Geek Media. Thank you for watching. <laughs>